welcome 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 my long time subscribers big up on yourself as usual and thank you guys for your continuous support let's jump straight into your message all right our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. There we go. And if you're new here, guys, I do say my prayer at the beginning of every message. Make sure I'm protected and covered. And, and just to make sure that your um, messages are coming from the right place. See what's going on for you? Let's see what your person wants to say to you tonight. What's up? What's the situation? Messages from your person. What's going on, Father God? What message does this person have? I can't promise you anything. Wow. It seems. It seems like they don't want to lose you. But at the same time, they can't promise you anything. And this is because they don't know how things are going to work out. Please do what is best for your heart. So you see what they're trying to tell you here? It's like, I want to be with you. Will this pain ever stop? So whatever they're going through, whatever it is that they're going through that they're experiencing is causing them much ache and pain. And this has a lot to do with them moving away from you as well. So the heart is calling to them now. And that's why their heart is hurting. It's paining. Will this pain ever stop? And this is one reason to why they can't promise you anything. Because they don't know. They don't know. Will this pain ever stop? Will whatever I'm experiencing ever end? Will whatever I'm going through stop? So let me make up my mind. Let me get things done. The way I have treated you was wrong. Oh my Lord. So this person is also in some kind of um, regretful energy. I can't do this right now. This person needs some time here, Laura. They need some time to figure things out. This person is on, in some kind of turmoil. Excuse me. They're confused. They're stressed out. This person can't even sleep, eat, whenever they think about your situation. Give me something here in regards to what's going on. Yeah, you've done nothing wrong. I'm just figuring things out. See, they need to figure things out here. I love you. I want you. I'm coming for you. Please be just a bit more patient with me. I'll make this up to you later. So whatever is going on here. It's just that they just need to figure things out. And that's why they can't sleep. They can't eat. Because everything is on their mind. Especially the way things happened between you and them in the past. I've been thinking of working with you on a passion project. Please come up with some ideas as well. So next we talk, we can share our ideas. It won't be too far off from now. So they are going to be coming around. That's good news. That's good news. So it seems like whenever um this person gets over... Their hurdles, this burden that they're carrying, they'll definitely come around and it's going to take a lot because they're trying to make up their mind for what's best for them. That's why they're telling you as well, do what's best for you. Okay. And I do hope that helps you. All right. All right. Father God, what message? Do I am stuck in visions of us together. Hey, can't stop remembering. I have no problems. I have no issues. Don't put up with my BS. So it seems there are some wounds that you need to heal here, Lorena. And whatever it is that you're accepting from this person that you know that, you're, that you should not, there is, it's their advice. It's their advice. Don't put up with it. Don't put up with it. I need to hold back my true feelings from you. So whether they're scared of showing you how they really feel or something is blocking, blocking that change that they need to make. Why do I deserve someone like you? Yeah, self-confidence. Self-confidence, self-worth, self-esteem issues. So they like being around you. They like being together. But at the same time, they want out. That's why they're holding back their true feelings because they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do about you and them. 
about their feelings. Hmm. You see, this is why your person knows that they may have been treating you wrong. Because they're in their feelings and they're thinking a lot about those feelings. And they're realizing too it's because they were holding back. That's why certain things happened here. Whatever this is that they're telling you about. Because if they were to show their true feelings, then they would tell you exactly how they feel. And there would be no, no problems, no issues. But because they're hiding, then they do things just to get away. Yep, I feel like such a coward. I'm so discouraged about my people pleasing. It's a hard habit to break, but I know it's time to start putting myself first because I want you and I know I have to do this. Yeah, so maybe whatever happened in the past, why they acted the way they did was because of the third party interference. There were people around them, people that they were uh, um, scared to lose. But at least they're realizing what their issue is. Whatever you just heard or are about to hear, if it hurt you, know that it was not true. It's fake news, a misunderstanding, or you're just not getting the whole story. Trust me, I'll explain later. So this, they'll definitely explain. So everything that's been going on here, every idea that you may have, it's a misunderstanding. And that's why they're going to explain it to you later. That's why they're holding back their, their, their true feelings. Because whatever they're experiencing and going through, they just can't tell you right now. But they do love you. I am sensing that. They do love you. This person has a lot of um, insecurities, self-esteem issues, those kind of things. Maybe that's why they are so deep in the people-pleasing energy. Because like, they're always trying to please others and are never doing anything good for themselves. Yeah, painful memories. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it came, oh my gosh, that's crazy. It came right back out. I should have just kept it the first time. Painful memories, Latoya. Painful memories. This is not about you. You were right. This is not about you. Whatever these painful memories are, these are memories from their past. Things that have been happening in their life, their past. People in their lives. But it's not about you. And like they said, you were right. So there was something that you may have been trying to tell your person here, but it's like they weren't listening. They weren't paying attention. But here they are now realizing. Here they are. You were right. So they're doing a lot of thinking here. They're doing a lot of thinking. Oh. Okay. <laughs> to God be the glory. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll definitely tell her. So, Miss Latoya. Whatever it is that you have been saying to your person, whatever discussions you may, you may have had, whatever thoughts that are on your mind, the things that you witnessed, things that you saw that it's like either you want to tell your person or you did, whatever came to your mind, either they are getting these messages telepathically or you did literally tell them something and they're realizing now that you were right. So everything they've been experiencing in the past. It's nothing good. And that's why they need a little compassion here as well. I feel lonely. Yeah, this person, I think, this, I think your person may have um, removed certain things and people from their life because of what they are going through and what they know they need to release. And now because all those negative things and people are gone, they're left feeling by, like by themselves. They're feeling lonely. Oops. Okay, that with you. <laughs> so again, whether they're thinking or whether this is something that they have memories of, this is the only thing. This is the only thing that makes them feel like the person that they are. And it's when they were with you, when they are with you. Okay. 
I wish I could be a different person. You see, they, they want to change. They do want to change. And I don't understand. Yeah, so they're going to have to figure something out here. If they want to be free, if they want to get rid of those painful memories, they just got to listen to what you were saying. But that doesn't mean we're going to force them to listen. They'll figure it out. When it comes to special occasions, I'm like a deer in headlights. I'm afraid to get involved and do something to screw us up or go down a rabbit hole I'm not ready for. I'm sorry, I can't. Fear. I'm sorry, I really am. I hope you can forgive me. I just feel so bad. Yeah, so this person knows that they may have disappointed you a lot. They know they may have disappointed you. You see how many times you get an, an apology here? And forgive me because they know they know. And because, again, because they're thinking. But they're scared. They're scared. I'm so angry or jealous I can't see straight. Let me calm down before I reach out to you if I decide to. I just can't believe you did that. Grr. <laughs> so they're angry. So you see, again, whatever you may have said to them, yeah, you may have gotten them upset, angry, you know, but now they're realizing. You are my angel, the guiding light in my ascension, the light at the end of this dark tunnel I'm in. I'm like a moth to your flame and plan to run to you as soon as I overcome this. They know. Yeah, man, they know they have to overcome. Look what's in the middle. I'm sorry. I will make this right by you. I love you. That's three I'm sorry. That's three I'm sorry. This person, <laughs> yeah, no question. They're terribly sorry. And they're also sorry that they never listened to you. All right. 